What's up, y'all? It's Jump. Now, we are gonna talk about the playlist. In the previous video, I talked in about the piano roll. In the video before that, I was talking about the channel rack, but now we do it all that. We gonna move on to the playlist, get it done, get it right, get it good. Let's do it. If y'all wanna check those out, just go back to the uh, you know, description. And just yeah. go ahead. And My fault, I ain't even say that. Just, just to make sure. Right. Alright then. Alright. So, we got us a beat here that we made. So that's the beat, right? So here's what we what we do with the beat. Put it into the playlist. Alright. Putting it into the playlist allows you to construct the beat, arrange the beat into a full song. So, if you want, you can separate all the sounds in the beat. In the channel rack, even though you can make several patterns, they're all separate patterns. So, at first, you're able to use just what's in the channel rack, right? In the playlist, though, you can right-click on the pattern. Click split by channel, and now all sounds have been separated. So, with that being the case, if you click on any of them, they're highlighted with a green box around it. Right? Put it in here. You just click, hold, drag. And how did I move it from here to where it is? Fives, fives. Alright, so to move these sounds after I had split them into the playlist, you have to click on one of them. They'll be highlighted with a green box. Then you hold shift, you click on the top one, right? Highlighted with green box. Then you move down to the bottom one, hold shift, and click it, highlighting all of them. Then you click hold the one at the top, you move it over here and it's assorted in its own little way right now if you change the pattern at here by the play button if you change it from pattern to song it switches and now if you push play it'll play what's in the song had you left it at pattern you would have heard a single sound like in this situation just the 808 but if you changed it to song then you would hear all of the instruments that I put into the playlist. Now what's so special about the playlist is that you can separate these sounds into whatever order you want. So let's say for example, I only wanted some sounds to come in here and then I wanted other sounds to come in later. All right? So how you can move things around is you have to press control and left click to cover. In order to move a pattern, you have to let left click it and slide it to whatever direction you want to. If you want to move it down, then you just slide down. If you want to move it up, then you slide up. If you want to move it left, you slide left, and you want to move it right, you slide right. Y'all get that, right? So what if for example, you wanted to move several several channels at a time. To do that, you you press control, then you left click and you slide this over, selecting one of the channels. Then you can move them up, down, left, right, however you feel about it, right? So you can select only a couple if you want to. And then you can move them over however you wish. To deselect them, you could either left click, but that places down a channel, or that places a channel down, or you could right click, which deselects anything. But if you right click, you could accidentally delete a channel. So if you want to get that channel back, press Control Z. Right? 
So then, you've got some instruments here, some instruments there, but you kind of want them to not really be too many right here, but then be all of them right here, right? So what you do is, you move some, these ones, you would move them over, and then you could get these other ones, and if you wanted to move them, all you have to do is slide them over, right? But then they wouldn't be here. So what you need to do is, you can select all of them, press Control B, and it moves them over, right? Pretty convenient. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is right click on the time. I'm going, we're going to call it the time machine now because I'm getting tired of this. We're going to call it the time machine, and you right click on the time machine, and it'll it'll uh, select a certain amount of time, right? But then, if you do that and then press Control B, it moves everything in the time machine over one, right? But let's say, for example, you are only messing with something that happened to be in this segment, and then you press Control B. Well, then it moves this over once over, right? And you don't want that. So you press Control Z, and you have to figure out that pressing Control B isn't always the best choice. Sometimes what you need to do is hold shift, click what you're selecting, and it makes a copy on top of it. Then you left click and you move it wherever you need to move it. Makes it simple, makes it easy, it gets the job done, right? Alright, well, that's the lesson for today, and I think we can call it a day now. Alright, it's Trump, and we out of here.